And hey there, this is Francisco from Dr. Phone. And if you use an iPhone XR or XS for some of the more recent iPhone models, then you probably come across a pretty unpopular issue. And if you use an iPhone XR or XS for some of the more recent iPhone models, then you may have come across one issue, like when you're just restarting your iPhone, that you end up at the Apple logo, and then your phone just completely gets stuck there, and essentially entering a completely prick state. And this issue is incredibly annoying, but thankfully, you're in the right place for getting that exact same issue resolved. So go ahead, keep watching to learn more. So there are a few reasons why this might happen to you. And number one could just be that an error could have essentially occurred while trying to upgrade your iOS version. And this usually happens immediately after your phone restarts uh, during an update. However, this is more prone to happen if you try upgrading the latest version of iOS on an older iPhone. And it's pretty well known by now uh, that iOS 11 was one of the most problematic versions of iOS. So trying to upgrade from that version could cause the issue, for instance. And number two, you probably tried to jailbreak your phone. And if you tried doing it yourself, or if you handed it over to a technician to do it themselves, and then your iPhone can get stuck on the Apple logo and essentially brick itself. Reason number three could also, could also just have been that you tried to restore your iPhone data from iTunes or iCloud or anything like that. Because for some reason, this can sometimes occur when restoring your iPhone from iTunes or even iCloud for that matter. And these are supposed to be secure methods of restoring your device. And reason number four, this can also happen while just trying to update or restore your iPhone in some form or fashion. At some point, we do have to update all of our phones and issues can occur during updates that could essentially cause us and keep your phone in that super annoying state. And we've actually got three solutions for going ahead and fixing this issue. And these are all going to be relatively simple. And the first method in particular is going to allow you to keep all of your data. And this is why we're going to recommend it the most. And this is going to be through our docked phone software, which is the safest and fastest way of doing so. And the second method involves a forced restart, which is the most basic solution for restarting your iPhone 10R, 10S, or other types of iPhone models. But it doesn't tend to work in most cases, though it is still worth trying, and since it is still safe to do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that as well. And the last method, and third method, is going to involve doing a full DFU restore. And this is the most serious method, as this involves forcing your iPhone uh, to restore back to its default firmware. And from on this, you should only try this one if the other two methods uh, didn't work for you at all for whatever reason. However, we're gonna go ahead and start off with method number one. And okay then, so let us go ahead and get started with method number one, which in this case is going to involve our Dr. Phone software, which is as always going to be the safest and quickest way of getting this recovery done the best way. And with that said, we're going to be leaving links to the software down in the description for you to click on and make sure to download. And then that way you'll be able to follow along if you would like. And with that said, let us go ahead and go through recovering our iPhone once it has entered the bricked Apple logo state. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. And as per usual, the first thing that you will want to do is, is just go ahead and make sure that your iPhone is already plugged in onto your computer so that, that way Dr. Phone can actually read your phone and then be able to go through the recovery process and then right after you've done so just go ahead and click on system repair and if you haven't downloaded this particular aspect of dr phone yet then it is going to take just a few seconds in order to do so and then right after that we should be able to get straight through and once you've clicked on that it is going to take you straight over to this window right here however what we're going to be doing here since we're dealing with an ios device is that we're going to go ahead and make sure that we are on ios repair though by default it should take you there but just in case all that you have to do is just go ahead and click on that in case of anything and then it's going to show you two methods it's going to show you standard mode and advanced mode and if you want to retain all of your data then the one that you want to go with is just standard mode so that that way you don't end up losing any of your data so we're actually going to go ahead and click on that first off then it's going to make sure that there's an iphone plugged in it's going to read through it and then we should be able to move on from there we are currently on iphone se and that we're currently on system version 13.5 Point one, which to my knowledge should be the latest version of iOS as of the release of this video. Just make sure that all of this information is, is going to be correct beforehand and then from there, just go ahead and click on start and it should be able to begin the process to download everything as needed. In this case, we're actually dealing with a 3.88 gigabyte 
file. And this is exactly what we're going to be needing. So let's just go ahead and give it a minute or so. And okay then, so then once we're here, you're going to see that there is an option here to click on fix now. And afterwards, all that you would have to do is just go ahead and click on fix now. That is going to allow Dr. Phone the opportunity to actually go ahead and do the proper fixing on your phone. And once that is done, you're going to notice that your phone is up and ready to go and you should still have all of your data ready at your fingertips and with that said that is going to mark the end to method number one this is going to be the simplest and safest method of going about it so that you can go ahead and retain your data no matter what so with that said i think we're ready to move on to method number two and now let's go into method number two for this method we're going to try the force restart method and it's going to work quite differently depending on which iPhone you have. So I am going to walk you through the process within each given category. And so for iPhones 5, 5S, and 6, and 6 Plus, and the first gen SE, and even earlier, all you have to do is go ahead and hold down the power and home buttons at the same time. And then once you see the screen go black, just let go immediately. And I'll make sure that you hold down the power button again until the Apple logo reappears. And then your iPhone should restart normally. And if it takes you back into your lock screen, and then it means it finally worked. For the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, all you have to do is follow the following steps. Specifically, if you ended up trying to upgrade to versions 12.3 of iOS or version 13. And so just press the power button and both volume buttons at the same time until your screen goes black. And then when that happens, just make sure to let go of the buttons and then go ahead and just hold the power button one more time until the Apple logo shows up. And if it takes you straight into your lock screen, then it means that your phone is back to working. And if it doesn't work, just go back and try it again. For iPhones 8, 8 Plus, 10, 10S, and 10S Max, who are upgrading to versions 12.3 or 13, all you have to do is press the volume up and then down, and then press the sleep wake button on the side for 10 seconds. And remember that these are are meant to be done quickly. Once your iPhone starts to reboot, it can go ahead and release the sleep wake button. And if you land it on your lock screen, then it worked successfully. And if none of these methods ended up working out for you, then that's when we would move into method number three. So let's go ahead and talk about that. And here, we will be going into DFU mode, which is again, the most critical method and should be used as a last resort. And this is going to lead you to complete loss of your data, which is going to be completely irreversible. So do keep that into consideration before going with this method which is why we do consider it a last resort overall as it's going to revert back to the original firmware that this iPhone came with when you first purchased it. For the iPhone 6 and older, just connect your iPhone onto your computer and then open up iTunes. And then hold down both the home and power buttons for about eight seconds or so. And then go ahead and release the power button but keep holding down the home button. And the message is going to pop up on your computer and it's going to say that iTunes has indeed detected an iPhone in recovery mode. And when you release the home button, your iPhone should go black. And if it didn't, then go ahead and start over. But if it did, it just means that your phone is finally in recovery mode. Just make sure that you click on OK and then click on restore iPhone and you should be good to go from there. And now for iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus, I just connect your phone onto your computer and open up iTunes and hold down both the volume down button and a power button at the same time for at least eight seconds or so and then let go of the power button but keep pressing down on the volume down button and then the message is going to pop up that says that itunes has indeed detected an iphone in recovery mode yet again and then let go of the volume down button and your screen should go completely black and if it doesn't just go ahead and try again and at this point you can go ahead and restore your iphone on a DFU mode. And this is going to be how you resolve it for that generation of phones. And then for iPhones like the 8 and the 8 Plus and the 10 and the 10R and the 10S and phones like that, I just make sure that you plug in your phone onto your computer and it makes sure that iTunes is running. And then go ahead and press and release. So have the volume up and then the volume down and leave the wake button press until your phone goes completely black. And then once it does, just keep holding down on the power button, but also hold down the volume down button. And then iTunes is going to recognize that your iPhone is going to be on recovery mode. And then once you see that message, go ahead and let go of that option and let go of those buttons. And then you can continue on from here. And once you're finally in DFU mode, all you have to do is go ahead and click on OK and then restore your iPhone. And that is essentially going to take care of everything for you. But do remember that this is going to revert you back to the original firmware that the iPhone shipped with. So do keep that into consideration. So those have been three methods of restoring your iPhone 
from its bricked Apple logo state. I highly recommend that you just go for the Dr. Phone method because it is the easiest and the safest way of doing so while still keeping all of your data. And so which method did you prefer the most here? Just make sure to let us know down in the comment section and just make sure to leave any questions in case you have any. Make sure to leave us a like also if you ended up liking this video. Make sure to share it with others who could benefit from seeing this video as well. And as always, do not forget to subscribe. So with that said, I will see you all on the next one. Have a good one.